Hey guys, it's Carl here. Today I'm going to show you how to use uh, flexible beat grids with Tractor Po 4. And I'm going to use two different songs. And one of them, the BPN, changes in the middle of the song. Uh, but it's a steady BPM uh, made by a beat machine. And the other one is a track with a live drummer um, where the BPM is a little bit fluctuated. Let's start with the song from Native Instrument. And uh, after analyzing, it's 133 BPM. And it. A look at the beat grid, we can see the grid is on point. Jump a little bit forward. The song changes, the BPM changes. So I'm going back. BPM changes here. And uh, Native Instrument also has made a hot cue here. And now we can set a new grid marker. Now for the new grid, we can change the BPM. You can either uh, guess or set a grid marker later on and adjust. Uh, but I know it's 120 BP. And this grid, so now the grid is correct for the next part. And if we go back, you can see the first grid still says 135. 136.98, which is forward again. Grid is still on point. Now it gets faster again. We have to set a new grid marker here. And we already knew that the faster part, 107, the grid is on point again. And that process we repeat um, for the whole song, but let's not get into that. Let's load another track, and this one is Reggae or Rhythm. With a live drama, and um, the grid is completed. <laughs> but I, I often use the mouse. Um, I'm going to remove the first grid marker that Structure created for us. Delete button, then create a new one. Then just hop forward a little bit. See, the grid is already pretty off. I just set a new grid marker. And because I now set two grid markers, um, Structure automatically calculates, okay, between these two grid markers, the M is 180.8 M. Now we can look, how does it, does it fit? I hear it's a little bit off and create another one. You can just hop forward a little bit. Okay, here's up again. I'll make your baby come out to me. Red marker and a back again between the last two markers. How well does it fit? Okay, depends on um, what you want to do with it. If you have just a slow transition, maybe it's not that super important how exactly the grid is, or do you want to have a very tight loop? Um, we can also zoom in. Uh, let's, let's add a new grid marker. Seems good. 
Then I play the song and hop forward again. The grid is off again. Brand a grid marker and hop back again. Does it fit? Maybe a little bit to the left, but I don't think that will matter if you just want to make a transition. Also, um, if you just want to have grids in the beginning and the last part of the track to make a transition there, then maybe you don't need to grid the track in the middle. It's all up to you how much effort you put into this and your play stuff. And then forward again. You can easily see how much a grid marker again and hop back again, rinse and repeat. And that's it, the manual process. Yes, enjoy.